I suppose. Are we doing this? Yes. Count it down. Three, two, one. You're listening to The Guardian Hub. You're listening to The Guardian Hub. You're listening to The Guardian Hub. You are listening to The Guardian Hub. The best 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 hub on the net. Hey, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Guardian Hub podcast, where we talk Destiny and some other things most of the time. Tonight, we have Sin and the lovely Psymaster Kato. How are you? Mm, Not too bad. That's it? That's all you're going to give me? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Not too bad. I'll take it. (laughs) Very nice. (laughs) Yeah. I'm not doing... So bad myself. I'm here. We're both here. Mm-hmm. So what's been new this week with you? Nothing. You're killing yeah. me, Smalls. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, state fairs in town. There's that. Whoa. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then? My wife and I went Saturday, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I was something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got nothing. I've just been working. I feel you on that. And playing RuneScape, I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long have you been playing RuneScape? Too long? Oh, yeah, too long. Collectively or just recently? Yeah, all together. Uh, I don't know. Probably a decade or so. I played it as a wee little lad. And then I picked it up a couple of years ago and just kind of dabbled in it. All right. Not too shabby. Yeah. What have, Man. what have Sin been up to this last Nothing. two weeks? Because I wasn't here last week. <laughs> last two weeks. Uh, working and picked up Star Wars Outlaw. I'm getting a little frustrated with it tonight uh, just because you got to sneak around and I'm not very stealthy and patient to do that kind of BS. Oh, and <laughs> my youngest birthday was yesterday. So got off work a little early, did dinner here with the fam. And got on, did some gaming last, no, last night uh, we picked up and did that uh, Mormon Housewives show as a, uh, as a watch party. Uh, me, Kingsley, Lady Kingsley, Rodimus, and Muffin. We were uh, nice. all watching that. Very interesting show. That uh, sounds interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's something different, I guess, uh, doing it as a watch party. Most of the time, yeah. if I'm watching stuff, it's uh, solo. So I'll take it. I'll take it. I prefer to binge watch. I don't want to do episode by episode. Well, we did two last night. So that's close to binge watching. You know, obviously no. we didn't get through it all, but I'm the same way. If I'm watching something solo and I get into it, I'm going to keep watching it. And the next thing I know, it'll be like 2 a.m. in the morning or half my day's gone. And it's like, Oh crap! I don't want to stop it now. I need to find a way to finish this. Yep. Yeah. So I feel you on that one. What it's about? Uh, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, I was getting ready to transition. So go ahead. Oh, I don't. I lost my train of thought now. You're welcome. Yep. <laughs> I was getting ready to say <laughs> what was new in uh, or some, what have you been doing in Destiny? Um, what did I do? Uh, exotic mission. That's what I did. I did the exotic mission. I finished up the Ness 06, 07, and 08 because I've been slacking and found the collectibles in the exotic mission. That is all I've done this weekend. Yep. I was with you there for most of that. Yep. yep. It was so, annoying. Yeah. You had to, had to do it twice. The first time to just get it done for the weekly, and then yep. you had to pick up the actual Ness. Yeah. Oh, eight and um, go back. You had to do a bunch of other stuff, but then go back in and then you could do the collectibles at that point. Yeah. So, really annoying. Awful. 
No, but, I th- but it's annoying. It is, and I think for the most part, uh, the last boss where we've had some struggles with uh, the first week as far as it glitching and like soft locking us out, uh, we didn't run into that the other day when we were running it. So that's a plus. Yeah, I don't think it's. I think it's fixed now. Potentially, are they working on that? I'm not sure. I think it was in the twin. I think the the fix is coming up, but I think we might have just gotten lucky. Potentially. I mean, we can jump to the twin. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, why not? Let's go. Let's get right to it. I mean, otherwise, I think uh, for me, it's been jumping into Destiny, just doing the weekly stuff, and that was about it. Yeah. So I mean, it's. Put- kind of that time of year you know school started back up been you know, two three weeks in that depending on where you're at my summer's winding down people getting those last minute vacations and home and settled and yada 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 yeah it's, it's not, it's not, it is what it is <laughs> it feels like it feels like it's that time of year and it's uh <laughs> the weather is actually uh cooled off a little bit which is good because oh. i Upper AC yeah. unit's not fixed yet. My lower one is up and running for the most part. No That's rough. And leakage. So, yeah, for the most part, it's been um, it's been good. Um, with this lower temperatures, I call it hoodie weather. Mm, not quite there. We're getting there. We are getting there. It's hit and miss here. We've had some mornings where it's been in the, like high fifties, low sixties, and then some mornings where it's like low to mid seventies. I'm like. So we're a little all over the place, but like last night, uh, got down to like 56, 57. I had the windows open. It's great. You know, not bad. We've been having the windows open in our room and that's just simple, simply because it's been hot. So the cool air has been nice. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of dates and anniversaries and things, I guess. Uh Oh, September 9th. It is the tenth anniversary of Destiny as a franchise. That's kind of I don't know how I feel about that. Um, there'll be a small in-game celebration, uh, art, and some legendary armor freebies, a fun title to earn, a bunch of rewards, and more. Check back Monday. So, okay, yay. At the same time, but da 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 da. Uh, there'll be a Dev Insight blog sometime Monday, I'm assuming, too. I, I don't really know. 8, 8 a.m. Pacific. So I think I think it was 8 a.m. Pacific, so 11 Eastern. Yeah, but they didn't say specifically on Monday. But maybe it is Monday. They just they kind of skipped that little important detail there. <clears throat> um, more about the future. Yada, yada, yada. They don't really give us much information. Watch it. There you go. Uh Improving raids and dungeon rotations. Double the pleasure, double the fun. Yeah, apparently. Raid and dungeons will now be selectable. Who we? That's just kind of nice. And uh, selectable we'll, of two, right? Yes. And then they rotate. So it's on a three week cycle, if I remember reading it correctly. Um, well, there's two, two factors to that. So, uh, 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 um, so it launches with the next episode, which is October 8th. So at the same time, Warlord's Ruin will enter the rotator queue. So then you can go farm it. Woohoo. It'll be eight raids and eight dungeons in total. So it's fitting then that we double the number of featured rotator activities available every week. Huh? Oh, yeah. So it'll be four week rotation. Ah. I didn't realize there was eight raids and eight dungeons. Like, huh? Yeah. Neat. Shows you how often we play them. Right. Um, so the rotation will still follow based on the Destiny 2 release order. So after Last Wish and Battle of the Stifle, it'll be Garden of Salvation with King's Fall. Okay, so that's kind of nice how they're doing that, I guess. Yeah, keeping it in chronological order from my understanding. Yeah, so first four and second four, so we'll be in two sets. It's kind of cool. Um, hone your swords. So currently, there's a sword event going on. I don't know if you talked about it last week. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, well, we, I think we, like the week before, is when it re- kind of was discussed. And I know you were using a sword a little bit the other day when we were playing. 
Yes. Um, essentially, it's just mentioning the infinite sword ammo and pictures, videos of various guardians cosplaying and using swords throughout the game. So there is that. Bunch of art. Some pretty cool art. Um, what else we got? Ah, choir of one ammo reserves. So we're fixing it? Yes. So they did. I don't know if they announced it last week or when, but the gun is currently bugged, but it's, they're not fixing the damage. The damage is where they want it. It's the fact that it has too much ammo. <clears throat> so they're adjusting the ammo down to 200 at base, 300 with reserves, which is still pretty solid, honestly, which is down from 250 base and 375-ish with reserve. So it's not a huge change, but it is a significant one. And it could be worse. They could be nerfing the damage, too. So, it's <laughs> an understatement. Yeah. I actually haven't used it yet. So, the only thing that is for sure bugged is what is that? Hmm. So apparently, it's doing extra damage with the divinity. So you have until October eighth to go cheese that, I guess. All right. Um, name change updates. Last week, we resolved an issue with our monitoring and moderation system that caused numerous bungee name changes. 13th is the first step to fix this issue. All players have received an additional name change token to update their names if so desired, regardless of whether they were affected by the issue or not. Okay. We are aware that there are still some players that can't use their token and or cannot receive recover their previous bunch of name. We are investigating this issue and will share more information with you when available. Um, see, so we need somebody here that actually had their name changed to give us some insight on this, like RNG or Kingsley. Kingsley. <laughs> You're right. I know he was talking about it a little, little bit. I know he was able to do it, but he couldn't get it back to what it was. Yeah, he couldn't get his original name back. And I was trying to remember how many name change tokens they've actually given us over this time. Like, this makes three for sure that I know of. But I feel like there was one before that. This yeah, might be I, the fourth one total. And I, I can't know. even remember because I've only used one. That's right. You changed yours was um you had the Ooh, underscore yeah. there, didn't you? Well, I still oh, have no. the underscore. Oh, okay. So this for sure then would be four. Because the reason following me on this logic, I'm pretty sure this is four anyways. You oh. were I, I'm pretty sure, just like with Kingsley, that when I yeah, when I got more active in the Discord, you guys had already changed your names. So his was already Kingsley Mac, not MC Kingsley anymore. Yours was already Sin, not whatever the fuck. So this should make the fourth name change that has been available to everybody. Pretty sure. Because when did you change your name? I think when it was first available, when they first came out. Okay, so that would have been before crossplay. Um, Pretty sure. Because they gave us one at crossplay. Like when they announced that, they gave us a name there. They gave us another one six months ago when they updated. Um, maybe it hasn't even been that long. They gave us one not that long ago, within the last year. And then this one. So that's three. So I'm pretty sure they've given us four. Just anyways. Um, what was that? Oh, Encore Exotic Mission. You're aware of a number of issues that might block progress or cause wipes in certain areas of the new... So, mission, we have the following fixes planned for the update arriving next week. Fix an issue where Encore would not appear as an option in Fireteam Finder. Okay. Fix an issue where progression could be blocked in the final boss encounter if the player had to repeat either the left or the right capture plate. So, that's only if it goes to the left twice or to the right twice. Had that happen, it's annoying. Right. Um, fix an issue where depositing connection module too early. During a certain section of the major mission could trigger team wipe. I have not had that one happen. So they they did fix it. So it's not it's not the upcoming. So maybe I got I'm getting my weeks confused. Maybe it was this Tuesday's reset that they fixed it. Oh, well, am I reading the right Twitter? Yes. <laughs> I was gonna say I hope so. It is Sunday after all. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
So Grandmaster Nightfall, August 27th. The Nightfall node was activated to all players. Due to an issue, players who had completed the Grandmaster version of the six previously featured Nightfalls were unable to properly access. So update is planned for next week. Okay, now we're on to art. art. So, movie of the week. Yeah, sorry, the art was boring. <laughs> You're like, I was I'm just reading this. Yeah, I was. There's one picture for the art. No, it's a verity. Yeah. And then I was reading the movie of the week, and it's uh, that zero to hero thing uh, in trials instead of raids or dungeon. The video is uh, going in with white gear and only using what you get rewarded to, to level up. So it's kind of cool. And that's that's it. That's absolutely it. Twad. Quick and easy. Yeah. Kind of boring. I did yeah. see. I don't know. I do believe it was a Forbes article. Yeah. Forbes article. Apparently, Destiny has hit its all time low on Steam. I don't know what that means. I didn't read the article. I just seen the thumbnail. So. Yeah. And I can see that. I'm, I'm hoping with this Monday, with what they're going to release for Frontiers, it brings some new hype. I'm kind of curious to what it's actually going to be. Uh, with it being so up in the air recently with all the bungee happenings. Right. I'm, I'm very curious to what they're going to say on Monday. We know there's no Destiny 3. So. Yeah. What's the way forward here, people? <laughs> I, I mean, what would be the best case scenario? Nuke the game, all, make a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be the best case. But. I, I, we've talked about it, and I feel like it's just talking in circles at this point because it, we, yeah. we bring it up and say the same things, but realistically, my opinion, the best thing to happen is you go full online. You give us all the content for both destiny and destiny two, and you go live service that if, if they can't make it work with a fully live service and a subscription base, then they don't need to have a King. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll all be shocked. And that's what frontiers is. Is there a way of bringing it all together? That would be cool. I doubt it. That is wishful thinking. It is very wishful thinking, but it would be, I think, their best option. That's what I would like to see. Because I still really enjoy the game. I'm just not enjoying it right now. If that makes... It's it's still really fun. It's fun just to get together with a group of people. Just bullshit, shoot each other, or go do something. Yeah, I'm I'm still enjoying it. Uh, it's a little bit less frustrating than Star Wars Outlaw with the sneaking around stuff right now. But uh, yeah, I just I don't have anything I want to do in it right. Now. So therefore, I'm not playing it as much. Like I'm we'll enjoying see. watching various shows, various animes, just kind of relaxing, just kind of hanging out. Because I know in the next. I don't know, a month roughly, the weather's going to change drastically. It's starting to start to get cold and rainy oh, yeah. and miserable outside. So, just kind of enjoying the weather right now. Yeah, more people are going to be inside. Hopefully, gaming with us, right? Well, and then you know, October is going to be a busy month for me. We have Throne and Liberty comes out the first part of October, then. The uh, October 31st, we have Dragon Age the Veil Guard, which is the fourth game in the series. So um, I'm excited. Part of the reason I'm not getting hyped about any other games that have come out, like Star Wars Outlaws. It's like, mm, nah, I don't want to get invested in another game to drop it to go play another game. Because that, yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, in all fairness, I did just do the Ubisoft Connect for a month just to try it out because I didn't really want to drop $60 on a oh, yeah. new game. I thought that, as for, especially if I end up for some reason not liking it or it just frustrates me and I don't want to continue on with it. Well, yeah, if I, was, I would do the same thing. It's just was that I've seen the gameplay. It plays exactly like certain other games of the same company. And I'm just like, mm, nah, nah, good. Not for you. Nope. Because I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't look good. Just not feeling it. Honestly, I'm just not feeling like playing much of anything. I'm spending more time watching a TV show or an anime than anything else. Yeah. 
Yeah, I probably am going to be watching a little bit more here soon um, myself. It's just a matter of what I've been. I signed up for a month of Hulu to do this thing, uh, this this um, multi stream or whatever you want to call it. Uh, oh, the, well, it's had yeah. a watch party. So, yeah. and I was kind of browsing through. Looks like there might be some good shows or movies on there. I could probably check out over the next month and see what. Uh, see what tickles my fancy yeah it's always good just to browse and see what there is absolutely absolutely friggin lootly i know some of the guys over at space mafia uh are playing the new warhammer game space don't marine want... 2 or something like that yeah i don't know looks cool looks like a horde shooter so i'm just like yay cool <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I watched Bo play it a little bit. Looks cool, but yet again, I'm. I give it two, three weeks, and people are going to be tired of it, unless they're super fanboys of it, which a few, few of those guys are. But you know, we we'll yeah, give it the fine. typical uh, two, three weeks, just like uh, what was that other game? What, oh, yes, you had Hell Divers. You had First Descent. You had yeah. there's one before that too. I don't remember what it was. Anyways. Yeah, and I think they're all passing trends, and you have Diablo, new expansion coming up. Diablo was kind of fun for a while. That kind of passed. I forgot about the new expansion coming. I don't know that I... I don't know. Diablo was really fun. I just feel like they screwed up. Yeah, no, no. I I couldn't get into it like I did with 3, and I think it's just because my, my investment in Destiny, I've been... And my work schedule, not having enough time just to to spend on these other games. I hope, I hope that Monday something interesting reveal, and it just changes the whole future for the better for the Destiny frame. Yeah, well, realistically, like the like Diablo or any other online game like that, like there's still people playing it. Like, there's still people in our Discord that are playing it, but this. Eh? Yeah, I know Soccer posted a, um, he had some druid build that was, looked yeah. kind of crazy that he had posted a video on. Sure, right. I mean, people are still playing it. Yeah, there's still a bunch of people playing it, but I, I, I agree. Like, I lost the interest in it. I don't know. It, I had the expectation that it was going to be a lot more like three, and I think it was just a letdown in that aspect. Yeah. But, you know, 10 year difference between the two games. Exactly. I, to be expected it's a yeah. different game it was still a lot of fun just not what i was into not what i was after i got i got my month of enjoyment out of it or so and now i know this if i want to go play it again right it's it's always going to be there at this point and i probably didn't um <sighs> i probably didn't do as much as everybody else in that regards like i never went around and got those um lilith altars because those oh. are persistent uh throughout all your experiences yeah. and I never went through and did all those. Like I, I basically did a little bit, finished the main, main campaign. I've jumped in a couple of the seasons just to kind of see what they were like and then bounced. Yeah. I don't know. There's something about a seasonal model. I have to create a new character every time that it's cool once or twice, but after that it just gets eh. having to start over. Then it goes to the main server. And then what you did, you, mm-hmm. when the season come out you don't want to do everything all over again anyway yeah it, and yeah i don't know i don't think it would have been too bad when it first came out if they would have either launched the season right at the launch of the game or pushed it back another two months one of the two like i hadn't even completed everything in the basic game before the season launched just to do it all over again i'm like nope too soon no thank you mm-hmm like, hey, go do the same quest you just did. No thanks. I am. But I mean, Destiny does the same thing, so. Yeah, and I think we're just used to it by now. And it's easy, easy for us because we've been doing it for so long. That's just true. All right. Uh, Keep it hopefully sh- Monday is better. We'll see. Let us know your thoughts on the uh, in the feedback channel. And then, of course, after this launch, the, you'll hear this episode and Probably the Monday Frontiers will be out about the same time. Give us some feedback in the feedback uh, for the show channel and let us know what you think. 
was the was the reveal or the information that we got worth it for you? Ask questions. We need questions. Do we have questions? We we've got we've got none. Okay. Ask more. <laughs> I didn't think we had questions, but I wasn't sure. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. Short and sweet. Rice Krispie treat. Give them your deets. Discord. At me. Yeah, that's all I got. Me? The deets? Yeah. Same. At me. And unfortunately, Kingsley's not here, so I can go Kingsley Juice, Kingsley Juice, Kingsley Juice. Take us out. Um, yeah, he's not there here. There is that. <laughs> you can find our show all across the interwebs as the Guardian Hub. Most importantly, as Kingsley likes to say, is on the website, which is www.theguardianhub.com. The best hub on the net. And thank you all so very much for listening and tuning in each week. We will catch you all again next time. Have a good one. Later. Later.